Things. So Carson is here now with ways to attract birds to your window so you can enjoy the sight and the sounds. Hey, Carson. Hey, Tracy. I was very worried. I thought you were going to say I was going to sing, and I don't sound anything near <laughs> Michael Buble. You don't give yourself enough credit, but no, this one, it's not about you. It's about the birds. <laughs> it's about the birds and that's exciting for me because more and more people in North America are actually taking on birding. In fact, it's number one and two with gardening and as you can see in my backyard, I've got lots of feeders. How about in your space, Tracy? Any bird feeders? We had sort of a janky old little bird feeder that did not stand the test of time but honestly, it was so lovely to have that outside the window because so many birds came through, hung out, ate, they weren't the only ones that were eating there. We also had squirrels in there. Uh, but it was really lovely to, to see them out there hanging out because it's winter. And sometimes we don't have a great view of anything but snow. So it's nice to uh, get a bird feeder that works. It's true, and I suspect we're going to spend a lot of time indoors this year. So having bird feeder outside is perfect, but the right bird feeder and the right bird seed is key, especially if you don't want to attract any of those unwanted guests, like the squirrels, the raccoons, and people even have sent pictures of bears eating out of their bird feeder. That's terrifying, and we have not had any bears, thank goodness. I can't even imagine seeing a bear walk down our neighborhood, uh, but tons of squirrels, and man, they're greedy. They just take the food right from the birds. So later on, we're going to talk about the proper uh, bird seed that's going to just be for the birds. But right now, I want to talk about the bird feeder. So what are the different types out there, Cars? Well, there's four main styles that I like that I've got on my own collection. And this one is probably one of the most popular. This is called a fly-through. Now, I like it because it looks like a big red barn, but the birds literally fly through it. Hence the name. In the tray at the bottom is where you put all your seeds. This type of feeder is going to attract bigger birds, blue jays, magpies. The key though, if you're going to choose this style, is that it has mesh on the bottom. This mesh allows moisture to flow through. That way you don't get any mold happening because mold is bad for birds. Another style that I really like, and this one's a little bit smaller, but you can get it in many sizes. This is called a hopper. I'm going to pick it up here for you to see. The hopper has seed that fills up in here. In fact, I'm going to lift this up a little bit here so you can see, tip it back, and I'm gonna put some seed directly into it. This style is great because you don't have to fill it up as often. In fact, the birds, as they eat from the hopper, you can see the level so you know when you have to go out in the snow to fill it up. Great style, works really well. The one problem with this is they make a lot of mess. They dig around in there and root in for the good seeds. Another one that I'm a huge fan of is the tube feeder. Tube feeders are literally tubes that have holes in them. The seed goes down into the tube, birds land on the little post there, they can get in and eat out of the hole. If you're gonna go tube feeder, choose one that has a removable bottom. This removable bottom makes it really easy for cleaning up inside, and that's something that you're gonna want, because if it starts getting funky down at the bottom, really difficult to get down in and clean that out. And finally, you're starting to see lots more of these squirrel-proof varieties, and I like them because they also work on heavy birds. When the squirrel or the bird gets onto the base, it actually closes, it shuts down, so it prevents them from accessing the feed. It just shuts down nicely, and you can adjust the weight on this for squirrels or for birds. So what do you think, Tracy? Any of these work for your outdoor space? Well, the last one would be interesting to see because I just feel like the squirrels would find a key and figure out how to get in anyway. <laughs> I love the idea of it. You know, the one I like the best is the, the drive-through or the fly-through. That is gorgeous. My question, though, is do you put that fly-through? Is that in a tree? It looks kind of big. The fly-through version can hung, be hung in a tree. It can also be mounted on a post. So if you're worried about squirrels, you can mount it on a post in the garden or in your yard with a baffle around it to stop the squirrels from coming up. The key, though, is the right seed into these feeders. That is something that you really want to be selective about. So let's start with sunflowers. Birds love sunflowers, especially the big ones like blue jays. When you're purchasing seed, look for sunflowers that have white stripes on them. Those are the fattest ones. They have the most meat in them. In fact, I'm gonna hold up a little sunflower here and explain how this works. This is actually a dried sunflower head. And the outer seeds on the outer edge are the biggest. They're the fattest because they've had the most time to grow, where the seeds on the inside are the skinniest and the smallest. Often, when these are harvested, the outer two inches of the sunflower is used for human consumption. Then we have sunflower oil, and the stuff in the middle, which isn't very fulfilling for the birds, is usually what goes into bird seed. So keep an eye out for those striped bird seeds or sunflowers in the seed. Also, if you're trying to get a collection of birds, go with the mixed seed 
seed like that. Mixed seed brings in a bigger variety of birds. Chickadees, nuthatches, they all love it. And finally, if you're really trying to stop the squirrels, don't go for bird seed that has cayenne pepper in it. A lot of those bird seeds that say they're squirrel proof actually hurt the animals. Instead, go for a collection like this one. And what they've done is they've chosen all the seeds that squirrels don't like, that birds do. So the birds come, the birds are happy, the squirrels, they're like, no, hey, we're going to move over to your neighbor's yard instead. Perfect solution for you. Oh, I love that. Okay, no cayenne pepper, no burgers, no steaks. You don't want the squirrels, you just want the birds. Carson, thank you so much.